today we are going to have Maxa being AI write us some Python code. Specifically, we will be looking at TK Inter library and asking Bing to help write Python code to create a graphical user interface for entering data into Excel file. Let's get started. So I open Bing.com, head over to the chat section. You will be required to sign in to access Bing chat. If Bing chat is not available for you, you will need to sign up for the waitlist. A question to Bing chat is write a Python code which uses TK Inter library to create a GUI that's graphical user interface where I input data and it should update in an Excel file. We get the code, so let's copy and paste it, save the code and run it. Alright, so we have the code added here. I'm going to run it. Okay, so we can see that the box has been created, so let's try adding some data in it. Click on submit. All right, so we get some error that says file not found. Error, no such file or directory data.xlsx. Head back to Bing. We see that there's some information below the code as well. So it says, creates a window with three fields, right? It reads the existing data from an Excel file named data.xlsx, appends the data and saves it back to the same file. So it means that is it needs us to create a new Excel file which will have these three columns. So let's do that. So I'm going to add three fields to this and then save it the file name as data.xlsx. So I'm going to say name, age, and gender. And the file name will be data.xlsx. Click on save. Click on close and let's run our code again. Okay, so we have the GUI box here. Let's try adding some data. Click on submit and I'm not sure if it updated or not. So let's try another entry. Click on submit. So I'm going to close this from here and check the Excel file to see if the data has been updated in it. All right. And we can see that the data has been updated in it. So the first entry was David. The second one was Terry. We can see that it's reading up the dates in integer and string format. So we will try to fix it later on. Now let's make some changes to the code. So Go back to Bing and I'm going to ask it to modify a few things in here. All right, so I have added the changes I wanted to make. So first one is I wanted to add the option to either add more information or close the user form. Second one is tkinter should add the gender option as a drop down. So it will show us a drop down where we can select as male and female. And the third one is take interest should look at the age and classify it. So any age that is less than 30 is age bracket one. Any age greater than 30 is age bracket two. Click on enter and let's see what it comes up with. Okay, for some reason it did not do anything. So I'm going to add it again. Click on enter. Just for testing purpose, I'm going to remove the previous data from this Excel file, make it blank, save and close, and let's copy and run the code. Okay, so far so good, we have the user form. Let's add the name in here, so David, it is 25. We have the option to select either male or female as a drop down, as we requested, and Bing has done it correctly. So let's add male, click on submit, and it gives an error, says type error not supported between instances of string and integer. It seems like the error is coming somewhere from here. We're trying to assign the age bracket. So let me zoom in a bit. Let me crash the code, click on interrupt. So here we can try to fix this. We can say as type int, and we can do the same thing for the one below this. Clear all and let's test the code again. See if it fixed the error. Okay, so now it says message box is not defined. Okay, so we will need to ask this back to Bing. So I'm going to crash the code again as Bing. Okay. 
Okay, so seems like we are missing an import. So let's add it again and run it. So I'm going to add the import here, clear this and run this again. So we have the user form. Okay, so it's asking me as a requester, do I need to add more information? For now, I don't want it. So click on no and let's check the Excel file. Okay, so far so good. Seems like it has entered the data correctly and it has classified the age correctly as well. So 35 was age bracket 2 and anything less than 30 was age bracket 1. So let's close this and let's test it again. Okay, so let's test this code by running it in the simple command prompt. And we see that data has been added correctly. The issue with the ages as string and integer let's try to fix it so i'm going to modify the code a bit and where it says that it's reading the excel file i wanted to read the age column as a string instead of an integer let's make the change close this and let's test it once again so i fixed the address to show it as an absolute address click on run again And now we can see that the age column has been converted to a string data type. We also seen that how easy it is to create a GUI using tkinter in Python with the help of Bing AI. This wraps up the video. If you like the content, support my channel by liking and subscribing. And I will see you next time.